welcome to Backyard Forest School. At Forest School, we might remember making a tippy tap to wash our hands with. A tippy tap is used in many different countries, especially where water is scarce. I want to show you how you can make one in your backyard. Do you want to have a look? So what you'll need is about six sticks the same length because you're going to make two tripods. Those two tripods are then going to have a stick across them and your tippy tap is going to hang from the middle. So the first thing I need to do is to show you how to join your sticks together using what's called a tripod lash knot. So I'll put my sticks down on the floor. I'm going to start with my clove hitch. It's such a versatile knot. So we're going to make two E's, one and the second one. E, E, there we go. I'm going to put the first E onto the second E. There we are. Now this clove hitch is going to go onto my first piece of wood. There we are. Okay. So the rest of the string here, you can use anything for string. You're going to go under, over, under, over. Have a look. So under the middle one and over the end one. Under the end one and back over the middle one. Under the last one. And that's one round finished. We're going to do that twice more. So we're going to go over the end one and under the middle one. Over the end one. Under the end one. Back over the middle one and under the last one. To make our second round, and we're going to do that once more to make it nice and secure so that when our tripod stands up it doesn't fall over. So over, under, over, come back round again, under, over, under. Great. That's our tripod lash. To finish it we're going to do something called frapping, which just gives it an extra bit of safety. We're going to go over here, over the first one, and down and under all those bits of string you've just created. Then up to the top, back round the middle one, and you're going to come down Oops. over the knots you've created, and up round. Do that again. I'm going to go down under and up round that one and back to where we started. Brilliant. I'm going to tie the first, uh, this end of the string with the other end of the string. Just any knot will do, just to secure that off. Now, this is the magic when we stand it up and we've made our tripod. There we go. Are you ready? I'll stand it up. Oh, 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 look at that. Looks like it won't stand up, but when you start to spread the legs like that, it turns into a tripod. I'm going to put mine that way. It turns into a tripod. Look at that. Okay. So you need two of those, so you do exactly the same thing. I've done already with three other sticks. I'm going to stand it up there because then what you want is you want a stick that goes across. Now this this is where you need to move your tripods around to make your stick fit in the right place. So I should have a thin piece of um, stick here somewhere. I'm going to put that along. Ah, now that doesn't quite fit, does it? So I'm going to turn my tripod around a little bit fiddly this bit. If you do 
it on grass it's a bit easier because you can push the sticks in. I'm going to turn this tripod round until that fits into there. There we go. Wonderful. Fabulous. Now with these bits of uh, cord I'm actually going to tie these on a bit. Something a fig figure of eight or something like that. So round there. just so it doesn't fall off and then we get to the end a little knot doesn't matter what knot you do there now before I tighten this on I'm going to put my tippy tap onto it so I've got here just a small milk carton you can make this as big as you like this could be giant if you have bigger sticks I've cho chosen to do a small one because I'm in my backyard Take some water. Fill it up. Doesn't matter how full or empty, just what you fill. There we go. And that is going to hang on this end. If there is an extra pair of hands to help you, this might be a good moment. There we go. Superb. Okay. Now then, I need to make some holes in the lid. And actually, I found that a blunt pair of scissors, or rather a closed pair of scissors, works perfectly well. So I'm going to make a hole in the middle. And I'm going to make holes around. make the holes with whatever you implement you feel safest with. There we go. Let's try and do one more. Very lovely. I'm going to make the middle one slightly bigger because then I need another piece of string that I'm going to put through there and I'm going to fasten it off with a stopper knot which is basically the number eight. So watch this. Go around the front And around the back, there's your number eight. And I'm going to go through the top again, and that makes you a nice stopper knot up there. I'm going to put my stopper knot as far to the end as I can. Pill mark, bring my milk bottle up. I'm going to make my holes slightly larger actually, because the water is going to come through those. I'm going to screw that to the top of my milk bottle. Wonderful, okay. Now, I need to make sure that tripod doesn't fall over. Brilliant. Now, I need a treadle. I need something that's going to pull that tap down to give me the water onto my hands. Just found a, a piece of stick here, slightly larger. I'm going to use my favourite clove hitch knot to attach it to the end. So over like that, one loop, over again. First loop on the second loop, pop it through my piece of stick and make it tight. You can use any knot you like. To make that a bit longer. Then I'm just going to finish it off with some half hitches. There we go. Again, it doesn't matter what knot you use, really. Wonderful. Okay, and the idea is that's for your foot. And you put your hands under there and you get your water so that you don't touch anything um, when you're washing your hands. So I've made a quick piece of soap on a rope, which I might hang there. Let's see if this, this works. Might need a bit of adjustment. Here we go. Oh, fabulous! Look at that. Well, it might make my holes a bit bigger. Get more of that soap there. Let's try that again. A bit more gusto. Oh, that's better. 
Wonderful, look at that. There we are, coming out nicely now. There you go, there you have a tippy tap. Lots of fun. Great. You've probably noticed by now that once you understand how to make a tripod, you can use it for anything. You could use one tripod, make it a bit bigger and make it as a den. You could hang a cooking pot off the middle, a pretend one or a real one over a campfire. So learning this tripod lash is a great thing to do. I hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.